Okay, so we're back. This is just a quick slide on how to think about stocks and what you're buying and how to analyze and look at a balance sheet. Before we do, let's go over some common words, speculation. Uh, it's the most common reason for looking at stock because you are hopeful that the stock is going to go up. Okay, speculation, you need to understand the leverage that companies have to uh, make ideas and to, for you to guess how they're supposed to make stock. So you, under, you need to understand what leverage is and how the company is using the leverage that they have, meaning the money in their corporation. That's what I'm using. Leverage can also be the politics that's going on. And in this case, we're going to understand um, a mining company. So you need to consider this before you invest in a mining company. I know right now there are a lot of people out there saying, we will let you land mine and you can have royalty rights. Before you get into royalty rights, you need to look at any of that, the money you need to invest, and of course, in anything you're investing in, what are you going to get back? So in other words, if you put $2,000 down, let's even go higher. Let's go $20,000, okay? And that's how much you pay outright. And I'm gonna put total pay. And then you turn around and you only get per month for total outlay. This is how much you put out. Total outlay is how much you put out, okay? And then you're only getting back in royalty rights, and sometimes they don't even guarantee it. You're only getting back 120 per month. Okay, you need to ask yourself, is this really paying off for you? Because when you multiply 120, times 12, you already know you're getting back 1400. So if you only have a three year lease on those, on that royalty, are you going to make your total outlay back? So in other words, you put $20,000, some people say, you say outlay, down payment on the royalty and the interest that comes from it. And you're hoping that you're gonna get this $23,000 back. At the end of the day, 120, times 14 you're not this is just something i'm throwing out there this isn't what's necessarily happening on one company this is just like i'm oh, sorry this is supposed to be 12 months um this is just something that is happening in general okay to uh to a lot of people who say well i got land rights i have many rights you have to look at what you really have and you have to sit down and think this through because no one else is going to. And remember, the corporations operate for the benefit of a corporation. So you were at 1400, $1,440 a year. Okay, and in three years, do you make that back? So, of course, answer is going to be no, because <laughs> you're at here at 0, 012, and I'm sorry, not 12 doing this as a talk, you're going to be at 4320 and then your lease is gone, and then here's your money. So unless you're really trying to take about a 15000 and what would that be, $800 loss, um, no. Why would, you, why would you pay that much out? Now, if you were going to pay out 5000 and you had this, maybe for four years, it might pay you back, but isn't there something else you could do with your money besides wait that long to even make anything, or are you hoping that you will get some of the money back? Because the reality is that uh, if you don't own the land under it, someone can all, you're just getting mining rights, unless you put $20,000 down and somehow this number goes up to maybe 12,000 a month, okay, then it might be lucrative. Or if it goes up to even 1,220 a month, because that would be 43,200 back. But if that's not what's happening and that's what you're not guaranteed 
it may not be worth it. Okay, the area, once again, politics, uh, a lot of com- a lot of oil mining companies and gold. I put gold up here or outside of uh, Nevada. Um, there was a lot in other countries like Argentina, other parts of South America. But you need to know what the area is like when drilling will stop. And of course, if it's a foreign stock, you have to look at their politics and you have to look at how they how they do things. Are they trading in U- U.S. dollars? If they are, it would say USD. Otherwise, they might be trading in their own currency. So you have to consider all of that. This is one of the mining companies, and I'm sorry, guys, I can't tell you which one. I promise not to, but these brackets mean that it's kind of uh, it's kind of negative. And this is the cash at the beginning of the period. So, but look at how much got spent. Okay, one million two hundred ninety-one thousand nine hundred forty-eight dollars for 2023. But look where it went. That's the loss. Uh, they had to pay people because they couldn't do that. <laughs> $54,528. This is a new business because their accounts uh, received, taken in, $4,516. Come on, prepaid expenses. It's costly, and we knew that. These are liabilities from other years, says accrued, meaning they went on before. And they must have other people working with them, but this wasn't explained. And some, another thing, if you wanted it explained, you have to get a prospectus and look at, go online, Google the company, and it'll say under investor to look at what's happening. Okay, so they purchase no bonds. Here's the exploration and evaluation of their assets so far. It's a bad arrow. So right now, they're not making any money. Okay, and that, that's not necessarily a bad thing because here they had more losses the year before, so they're kind of cutting those down. Um, so it might get profitable in another five years. Might not get profitable at all, but this is how you evaluate before you make your decision. So they went down quite a percentage. Okay, um, four, eight, five almost like what 78 percent less so they're making progress but this is how you have to really look at everything's going on you know how people say you have to look at the bottom line it's the bottom line how much do they owe and what is their net profit and are they really going to take their stock up if you're investing in it and while we're talking about that let's go over and look at how much it costs to drill for people who say i'm going to start my own oil company really look how much it takes <laughs> okay field office expenses people are out uh consulting to make sure that you don't hit a fault line or you don't make it worse than what some of them are that's important if you're near california because you have the hayward fault and the san andreas fault out in california so if you're in nevada you're on a neighboring region uh this this company is kind of in the middle of nevada they're kind of away from that so they had to get a consultant though that's here to tell them that surveying they had to look to make sure that they own the rights to go there materials and supplies meals and lodging for people these are in thousands of dollars by the way traveling transport going back and forth and this is what's happening so you have to notice that before you just jump into, I'm going to get some royalties and mining rights that that company may not be able to pay you as much as you want to get paid because look at what's happening to them. Look how much it costs them. Okay. This is one quarter. This is one quarter. Quarters are every three months. Okay, and this is yet another quarter. Okay, so this stock that we mentioned with this company is trading for less than $5. Therefore, by definition, it's a penny stock. And penny stocks are stocks that trade for less than $5. So this stock that we went over trades at about $0.08. Cents. 
So you have to ask yourself if it trades at eight cents now, you probably want it to go up at least to a dollar. But looking at what you saw, is that what's going to happen? That it's going to go up 92 cents by 2024, by 2025, or maybe not until 2035. But no one knows what's going to happen. The company is hoping that they get better, but you might be able to analyze after looking at all of this. And please download it if you have any questions. Look us up, Dickovitz Learning Group at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.